Well, it's that time of year again, our annual pilgrimage to Cuba. This year we're fishing from the Avalon One, a beautiful luxury yacht with all the same comforts and amenities a resort would offer, but with the advantage of always being right on the various fishing grounds in the area. On today's episode, it's all about the pre-fish, as I head out with cameraman Les on the first night and second day of the trip. I'm set up for bonefish, tarpon, and the elusive permit, and my guide Pedrito is determined to get me into all three. So it's another fly fishing adventure in Cuba with Avalon Cuban Fishing Centers today as we take you sport fishing on the fly. Look at that big dome. Hey. I think it's the technique. I think it's the fisherman. <laughs> Some days are good and yeah. Some days are better. <laughs> <laughs> A lot better. Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you in part by Islander, builder of world-class fly float and mooching reels. The Frog Boat, inspired by nature, ingenious by design. And the Freshwater Fishery Society of British Columbia. Catch what you've been missing, go fish BC. And away we go. We're just off on the first day. We just got here. We get the evening fish. So see if we can go and catch something. Should be a lot of fun. Oh, oh did I? And I scared him? Is that what I did? When I moved my to get the line out. Yeah. Because he did, he, he chased it and then he spooked. Darn it. Yeah, yeah, he followed it. He followed my fly, the permit, but he wouldn't eat it. Oh, how painful. Oh, gee, I just, what the heck? What's that that just ate it? A barracuda. Look at that, a little baby barracuda. There we go, fish on. Finally, straighten the line out a bit, which would be nice. There's a bunch of bonefish in here. So we decided to stop. Oh, and there he goes. Nice little bone to start. You know, that's, that's the beauty of these little bonefish. You know, you, you catch them in the shallow water pockets and you can see we've got a bunch of eel grass in front of us here. And then it goes into a real nice part of, you know, sandy kind of hole. And they just sit in these little sandy holes and you can pick them out and they come in packs. And we just cast out there, strip it back, and you know one of the one of the packs breaks off and usually eats it. Here's this little guy coming up. Oh. Again, eight weight rods that we're using. A tough fish. Real tough fish. And I got a chunk of stuff on my line. There he is there. Oh. Oh, I'll just unhook him. He's just a little guy, so let's try to unhook it. Marvelous hook. There it goes. And off he goes. Ah, a couple of pounds, probably. Pedrito, a couple of pounds, two pounds. That was good. The big ones, big ones tailing, but we just got out. So essentially, we just got on the water. We get here, we've done the boat ride out. You get down, you've got an afternoon to fish, essentially in, in the evening, even a couple, you know, two to three hours. So we just decided to come in. Ty's just right for the bonefish. We'll cast to a few in here, and then maybe a little later on, we'll go and search for some tarpon. But again, it's just the start of this whole trip here down at Avalon, our yearly trip down to Cuba. It should be fantastic, so stay tuned. Oh, 
Oh, he's right there. We just arrived at our first bonefish hole and we're just gonna fish this flat. And as you saw last night, we had about two hours and I had a shot at all three. I actually picked off a couple of bonefish. We showed you one. We got into a permit that was uh, that wouldn't eat. And of course, we hooked the tarpon briefly. So, and that was a two hour snow when we first arrived. So we just got out here, it's about nine in the morning. The sun's just coming up nice. And we're gonna fish these flats. And again, today, we're gonna go for everything. Target some bones hit the flats later for some tarpon and hopefully we'll see a few permit. So it should be a, should be a good day. We'll just have to wait and see how the fishing is. You know, there's one thing that's critical when you're bone fishing is a lot of people try to actually spot the fish and spotting the fish can be tough unless you have sun. And why I say that is we're really looking for that glinting, that turning of the fish as it, as it noses up. You either look at the fin at the top as it's finning or you see that little flash, that little glint. When we got a little bit deeper water here, you know, a couple of feet, we're really looking for that little turn, that glint on the fish as it moves through. It's really tough to see unless you have good lighting and we're having, you know, a bit of cloud cover in and out, so it gets tough, but we've got some, oh, Pedro spots some. Yeah, we got some bones? Long cast, how? Nine o'clock, 10 o'clock? More left, nine o'clock. Now, two bones moving there. Couldn't see them, they were moving quick. And there's the other thing too about bone fishing. A lot of times if you get them happy and they're finning, you've got them, you can lead them, you can actually fish to them. When they're moving real quick, it's tough. You're picking up, listen to your guide, it's up, it's down, it's up and down. You just gotta try to listen to them if you can't see them. The big thing is trying to spot the fish yourself so you can really cast to them. But this is nice water now. We've got a bit of sun, so we have an advantage again. Uh, I gotta, Pedrito told me I've gotta wear my hat. So if you want good shade, so you can actually see the fish, put the hat on, gives you a bit of cover on your glasses and you can actually see the fish. We had a couple in here, but of course my fly snapped off in the weeds. So we had to put a new fly on. Oh, what was that? Oh, big barracuda. Look at that, big barracuda right there. These big barracuda just sitting here waiting for the, waiting for the bonefish to come flying by and they hijack them. So if you bring big green flies, and I'm talking six to eight inch flies, real long bucktails, and you cast that for barracuda, you can have some big, you know, 20, 25 pound barracuda and they just attack it. It's fantastic. Yeah, but make sure you bring them a lot of pike leaders, barracuda leaders, wire mesh. It's pretty amazing. There, I got him. There we go. All right. Oh, there he goes. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that was fantastic. Excellent. Now I got to keep one of the mangroves. There's a pack there. Nice school. There's probably six to eight fish. Gives us an advantage again when the sun comes out, so we can see them. Yeah, oh yeah, I see a bunch of them right there. That's a good sized bone. Yeah, he's strong. Oh yeah, it's a nice guy. Nice. There's a bone, there's your classic bone. Okay. You know, a couple pounds. That's the beauty, barbless hook. Nice little small hook. So we're gonna get one right now. There, I got him. Whoa, man. I gotta try to, try to hold him out of the mangroves. Whoa, he's ripping. Oh, oh, look at the line go. Oh, look at him, he's at the boat. Oh, oh man, that's awesome. Oh, now he's going out to sea. Whoa, that's a good size bone, man, oh man. Whoa. See, you gotta keep turning their heads, keep them out of those mangroves. So if they go one way, he's going this way, turn them that way. 
Keep moving your hook back and forth. Try to turn their heads. Trying to get them this way now. And once you turn their heads a bit, they slow down. They actually come towards you. So any way you feel them going, go the opposite way and you'll be able to turn them. Oh, that's their normal size, you know. Two, three pounds. There he is there. Let Pedrito hold him up. Hey, there he is. Oh, there he goes. Hey, molto bene. Very nice. That was great. You know, here's the beauty, is you can fish these flats all morning. You'll come out here on low tide. We move the low tide in. As soon as it starts moving out, we move out for the tarp and the permit. So I think when we come back, we'll look around for a few more bones. We don't see any. Off to the big flats for the tarpon and the permit. So when you come back, some more great fishing down here from Cuba, Avalon Group. It's fantastic. Oh man, I got a I got a big jack trevall in five feet of water, and I've got my bonefish rod, and I can't. He's just going. I'm trying to turn him, but I can't. Oh. He's going to the open ocean. It's a big jack. I'm trying to hold him with the eight weights, but I, I can't. I've only got, I've only got 10 pound test. Oh, there, soft. Too strong, too much. Got a boat, how big? How big, Perdito, 15? Yeah, eight kilos, so 16, 16 plus pounds. Probably 18 pounds on my, on my little shrimp bonefish pattern and three feet of water right in here. Poor Jack Tavell came out of the bush. He made a good cast, hooked him up, and then he just went and, you know what, with an eight-way rod with 10-pound test, you're not gonna hold him. He was going back to the ocean. Oh, unreal. Wow, too much fun. <laughs> As you've probably noticed, we've got the toad on. One of my favorites is the red and black toad. Fantastic for tarpon when you come down here to Cuba. You have to make sure you got some toads in different colors again. The black and the reds are great. The chartreuse we find in the day is really good. But right now, we just finished bone fishing this morning. We got that nice jack that, of course, screamed us off and broke our hook off. Now we're out in the channel. This is a great time to come out here and catch the tarpon as this outflow and all these different channels are starting to push out as the tide goes out. All the tarpon like to stack up at the end of these, end of these channels and feed on all the fish that are put, getting pushed out with the tide. Oh, look at them all. Whole bunch of them, whole school. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I saw a bunch, yeah. I couldn't see him. No, I didn't see him. Oh, there he goes. Oh, <laughs> now that's why you tarpon fish. That is fantastic. Oh, <laughs> look at them all. There's a whole bunch in here. Oh, this one's just a, just a baby. But it's nice getting the babies too. <laughs> oh. Look at him down there, he's just sulking. He's gonna wanna go again. Whoa. <laughs> oh, oh. So how big's that guy, like 15? Yeah. But there were some big ones there, Pedrito. There were some big ones too after him. I saw a couple that were around 30, 40. And there's more here, this is fantastic. Hey, there's a little guy. Jeez, and that little tarpon gave a great fight. There he goes. Yeah. Just a little guy too, and he fought great. There he goes. Ho! Oh, good job, Perdito. And there's more, there's a whole school. Okay, just change rods real quick. We just caught the tarpon. We've got the bonefish earlier, and now we, Perdito, just saw a permit. So we're gonna see if we can get the grand slam here. <laughs> we'll see, we'll give it a shot. Up here. Right there. Oh, where'd he go? More right? Where'd he go? He chased it for a little bit. Gee, just wouldn't eat it. He splashed, he went for it, and then he turned. Darn it. That's the thing with permit, you know? You get them to chase, you make a good cast, they're right on it, and then they turn. Gee. Tough fish, Whew, frustrating fish. You know, this is, as you can see, this is a disaster waiting to happen. We're trying to get, uh, we got both the permit rod, which is 
to dry line you just saw, and of course, we got the tarpon rig on right now. We just passed a few permit. We had one chase, he refused. They're tough, but we're gonna keep working it. And of course, we wanna switch back to the tarpon line real quick. So we're <laughs> trying to keep my clear up here and my dry there. It's, it's a disaster waiting to happen, I know it. <laughs> ah, I got him, I got him. Ah. He's on. He's on. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, and I lost him. Oh, we had the double header, too. That was unreal. We had the double header. Rick's got one on over there. Oh, and Rickster got off the big jump. <laughs> just doing a little blind casting right now because we ran into a big school. And as you saw, you know, we saw mine boil. He took it. One big jump and he got off. Brian had one on, Rickster hooked up his. I mean, there was fish everywhere. And this this is my favorite spot. It's a really rocky shoal. There's some permit around here, but lots of tarpon hang out. Last year, my final day, I pulled in a 65 pounder here. Every time I come here, I catch tarpon. So it is definitely my favorite. Let's see if we can get another one. 12 o'clock. More left. Got off. Oh, I've drilled him. Oh, I had him again. And I'm drilling him this way. <laughs> now I'm in trouble. I, I did this, I was pulling on him. Sideways? Oh, sideways, okay. Try to get it sideways. Okay. Yes, <laughs> here we go again. They're there. There's a there's a school up. Okay. This is great. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, gee. There. Oh. That that's drilling up. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I gotta get my line up at first. Okay. Oh, he's hooked good this time. Oh, three in a row. We I just hijacked three tarp in a row. That was great. Oh, there it goes. Oh, look at that air. Ho oh, ho 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 ho! Man! That was huge air. That had to be like six feet in the air. Oh, man, that was unreal. Oh, fantastic. This is great. Here it goes again. Out here. Out here. He's going to go. He's going to go again. Oh, man. That is so sweet. Whew. And sideways. Pedrito just tells me, keep it sideways. You know, every year, you have to be reminded. I've been out here three years in a row. Oh, there he goes again. Oh. Whew. Oh, here he goes again. Oh, ho, ho, ho. and always bow to him. There he goes again. Man, look at that. Oh, shit. And every time you get a chance, every time you get a chance, reel up on him. And you better be prepared to sweat when you come down here, because it's like 34 degrees today. And I've dropped about 10 pounds, which is probably a good thing. Oh, look at him sitting there. That's a nice fish. Oh. Down there deep. Oh. oh, you never know when they're gonna go. Oh, <laughs> that is so cool. Oh. I just gotta keep working them back. And that's how they wear themselves out. You know, the tarpon get tired by jumps. So you just have to keep them jumping. There he goes again. Oh man. He's getting tired, because I'm getting tired. How big for tree tall? 40? 40 pounds? Ooh. Another school, I know it's crazy. More fish rolling. Oh, man. 
they just keep going. So much spunk. These fish. Okay, Pedutral, what side? This side? can't reel anymore. Okay, you ready? Oh man. See, nice, just came right out. Looking fly. <laughs> oh look at my fly's just dead. He just killed it. Hold it up for everybody. Oh, beautiful, very nice. Oh, that's nice. 40 pound fish. Whew, there he goes. Hey, Brudito. <laughs> very good. All right, we have some more rolling up here, but I gotta look at me. I'm just gonna get a fly on, I need a break. Oh, it's tough not having a sub. Well, that's it for the day. You know, the only thing I want to show everybody was just today's fishing. We essentially went out last night, caught, almost had the triple header with the permit, uh, the bonefish, and of course the tarpon. Today, all bonefish in the morning, tarpon in the afternoon. That was just day one and a half. I guess next week, maybe the week after, we're going to show you some more here from Cuba and Avalon. If you ever want to come down, give Avalon Cuban Fly Fishing Centers a call. They'll hook you up. They've got multiple different destinations that are fantastic. Take care when you're all wild. We'll see you next time. We take you sport fishing on the fly. Fantastic day. <laughs> to watch all our latest sport fishing on the fly episodes and to order sport fishing on the fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca. And if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.